Howdy folks, Dave Tyner from NVIDIA here, and today we're going to learn how to uh, bake our physics simulations into something that can be um, <clears throat> scrubbed through with the timeliner. Basically, we're taking, we're keyframing all of the physics simulations. So first thing I'm going to do, and uh, just for full transparency here, I'm, I've collected the warehouse locally, uh, just because when you're working with layers and large files, uh, sometimes things can run a little slow. So um, first thing I'm going to do in my new stage here is I'm gonna just going to drag the world demo pack into my layer panel. And so I'm going to set it there. And that'll take a second to compile and everything. OK, great. So it's in there. And then the next thing I want to do is um, I'm going to create a sub layer here. And I'm going to put it in the same drive. And I'm going to say, let's just call it warehouse sim one and make that a USDA file only because USDA files can be uh, written to a lot faster. All right, so now we have that, we have that, awesome. And then just for giggles here, I'm going to, um, I'm remote desktoped into the session, so if the UI looks a little strange, it's some stretching that's happening there, no big deal. Uh, so I'm going to save this file, and there, and there, and I'm going to call this warehouse, nah, warehouse sim. All right, so now that that is saved, let's make sure we have the right extensions loaded before we get into this. So go to Window Extensions, and the first one you want, just type in PVD. You'll see Omniverse Physics PVD plugin. You want your flat cache to be loaded, so I, I usually auto load that one. And then um, that's all you need for this. Okay, so with those extensions loaded, you're gonna go to Window uh, Simulation, and then click on Omni PVD, then Windows Simulation and Debug. All right, so the PVD output file is there, and I am going to, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna maximize that so I can get to the, to the folder here that I'm working with, and I'm just gonna put, I put these simulations right here in this folder, control V, Change that to a forward slash, not out. And we're going to call this sim1. Press enter. Make sure you have uh, Omni PVD and Omni PVD sampling enabled. And then um, we actually want to copy this path to there. All right. So. This is the part that's just a little bit hacky, uh, and, and we're fixing it for the new release versions, but uh, if I play the sim now, okay, it kicks off, and then I stop it, and you see the PVD sampling was uh, clicked off. You just gotta click it back on and then run it again. It's fine, it's no big deal. So let's go ahead and do that. Just grab this guy right here by holding shift select. Oh. All right. That's awesome. Okay, we'll let all the boxes settle. Okay, great. I'm gonna stop that. If I come down here and check my folder now, I should have this PVD, OVD, sorry, which I do. It's 1.8 gig. Ooh, that's huge. But this is a large scale simulation. Uh, so the next thing I want to do is I'm going to, in this empty layer that we made, I'm going to double click on this. And see this button here it says bake physics into active edit layer. Active edit layer is your authoring layer. And that's what we want to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that. And this 
could take a minute. So I'll probably pause. Okay, not too bad. Now you can see that my layer here has been populated with a bunch of deltas. These triangles indicate this is a delta and a delta is a change that's been made to something that doesn't live in this layer. So um, that's great. Now all I need to do is save this file. All right, so that's saved. And it should be noted, you're, you're probably gonna see some long wait times on the save. And that's just because there's so much, um, so many keyframes here of all these boxes and everything going. So the next thing you wanna do, because it's gonna look weird if you don't do this, is you wanna reopen the stage. All right, so now the stage is open again, and all I have to do is come to window, window animation timeline. I really like this to be up here. And now if I scrub, you can see that all of those transforms have been cooked in, which is awesome. And we can do this again. We can do this as many times as we want. So if I just create another layer here, and I'm gonna call it uh, Warehouse Sim 2. I'm gonna make my root layer my authoring layer because what I wanna do here is come in to uh, this impulse and I want to turn this off. So I'm just gonna delete the rigid bodies on those. All right, so this way when I run the sim, oh, and I want to, um, I want to mute my underlying if I try to run it, then my simulation is going to be fighting against uh, this this baked sim here. So I'm going to mute that layer. So I'm going to click on the eyeball. And that too will take a minute. Working with layers can be slow. All right, now that that m layer is muted, if I scrub, you can see nothing happens because we have essentially said this layer hidden, Don't don't do anything. So uh, that's good. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change in my physics debug down here in PVD. I'm going to change this to Sim 2. And I'm going to change this one to Sim 2. Make sure that we have sampling enabled. And I'm going to go ahead and press the play button. OK, no simulation kicks off. That's awesome. And I'm just going to do that and then do one of those and then grab that guy, smash him forward, hurl this guy, hurl that guy, drag you over, drag you over. All right. And then I'm going to just give this guy a flick. Okay. Okay. Now we can stop it. All right, so same thing as before. You're going to make your new empty sim layer your authoring layer. And you're going to come down here, uh, make sure this path maps to that same OVD file. And then we're going to click the bake the transforms into the active layer here. All right, so that's done now. And we can see that uh, we now have contents again. And these are, again, all of the deltas uh, that contain the animations of the um, of the sim. And I'm pretty sure it's not gonna work if I scrub this. Yeah, see how it's, see how it's fighting. So that's fine. Uh, we're just going to save it. All right, that is saved and now I'm gonna reopen. All right, so the stage is reopened now. And um, now I should be able to scrub through and I can see that got my whole second simulation as well. All right, so that is how to use uh, Omni PVD. If we look at the file and go there, we can see that these sims are, you know, 1.7 gig, 1.8 gig, the, uh, the warehouse sim itself is pretty small uh, because it only contains layers. There's not, I know it's something you gotta wrap your mind around, but nothing is actually in this stage. It's living in its own 
USD in the layer panel here. Uh, so, but let's look at the SIM. Yeah, so we have first SIM 2 is a 2 gigabyte, so about 2 gigabytes each, and that's why there's long load times um, and save times and things like that. But yeah, so this is a great way to be able to record your simulations into a USD file. And uh, what this enables you to do is uh, time your cameras accurately. You can play with lots of different ideas. Uh, when you go to render, you can render multiple cameras at the same time because if you do it the other way where it's dynamic, then, you know, and let's say you need to render frames 600 through 800, uh, you have to run them from frame zero just so you can get the dynamic sim to the point that you can start rendering, which is obviously highly inefficient. And so in this way, you can just, um, you know, place your cameras, do your timing, and uh, send, your, send your scenes to uh, your render in parallel. And it makes everything a lot faster. All right. Thanks a lot.